Today we're doing a $40 versus $400 budget fishing challenge. We got a minute and 40 seconds. We're bringing it old school today, baby. Air mattress is where it's at. Oh, yes! The way that this is gonna work is that me and Noah are gonna go into this Dick's Sporting Goods here behind us, and we're gonna have three minutes to pick out every single thing that we need for our respective budgets. The way the fishing portion of this challenge is gonna work is whoever catches the most species in three hours wins. But there's a little bit of a twist when it comes to the actual fishing today, and that's because we're gonna be fishing both freshwater and saltwater ponds, so we're gonna have to strategize as best as we can to accommodate for freshwater and saltwater species with our budget and our time. All right, it's time to see who gets which budget. All right, Tyler, bring in the Come dartboard. On, bring it on down. All righty. All right, Noah, you're red. I am black. Whoever gets the closest to the center of the board gets to pick which budget they want. All right, that's a that's one way to hold it, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> you're all first, Noah. Oh. Dude. All right, I'm clearly this is not your sport. Oh, that's not too bad. Oh, oh. that's going to be hard to beat. <laughs> Wait till I adjust. I'm oh, like, oh God, I was close. Here we go, oh, baby. Man. Oh, oh, baby. Come on now. I got a sharpshooter. Yo! Yeah. Oh, wait. wait. It, it did push yours in a little bit. Wait. It's like, hold on. Who won? Who won? Hold on. Wait a minute. Do we need it? Do we need one more? So one that's more. one dart. All right, Plus, you're going first. Come on now. No pressure. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my gosh. Gosh. He's got to just hit the board. So I just have to hit the you board. You just have to hit the board. Yeah. Oh, I want to hit the middle. All right, I deserve to lose after just missing the board all together. Okay, Noah, you won. Which budget do you want? I think you already know what budget I'm going to pick. You want the $400? No, bro. It's going to be the 40 Are you serious? Yeah, I'm going to do the 40 I'm up for a challenge today, boys. All right. Insult to injury. I'm going to have the 40 bucks, and I'm going to win this challenge today. All right, guys, it's time to get in the store. Let's go pick out some lures. All right, guys, we have made it into the store. It is time for Noah to pick out his budget. I don't yes, know sir. why he went with the $40 when he could have had $400. I'm a man on a mission, man. We got our three minute timer set, though. Noah has three minutes starting now. All right, boys, Boom. we gotta hurry. The first thing that we need when we pick out in every single challenge is we need a rod or reel, okay? There's not many options. I mean, last time you did the rocket fishing rod. I, I know, but we can't do the rocket rod this time. I mean, we could always go with the Barbie rod, bro. You know what I need? What I don't do you know need? if they have one. I need a cane pole, bro. A cane pole? One actually, that would be cheap. I, I do think Oh, yeah, something. yeah, there we go. I actually asked last time we were in here, they said they're nine dollars. So. Nine bucks. Okay, so there we go. Regular cane rod. We're bringing it old school today, baby. Let's keep going. We got two minutes and 18 seconds left Noah time is ticking okay I want to kind of go simple let's see clearance aisle these are two bucks okay there's some hooks right there two dollars what does that leave me with better do the math man okay let's see what we got I've actually been dreaming about this Fletch okay this, this is where it's gonna come in handy Ooh. today I promise you we're just gonna go with this one right there little tiny white one it's gonna catch a bunch of different fish even some bait fish so there we go we got a minute and 40 seconds guys all right what else do I need one thing I do need is some split shots let's see what we got okay that is way too too big of a bag and way too much money. <laughs> yeah. Here we go, Flush. What you? Oh, Balling on right budget. Here. Three bucks, right there. Little split shots. I can come in handy. All right. What else do we need? I'm, I'm trying to think. Does it come with line? Okay, it comes with the bobber. Yeah, I got hooks. I want some more line. Nine seconds? No, no, no. A oh. minute and nine seconds. Okay, six, seven bucks. Seven bucks. And you're probably wondering why I bought line. You're gonna find out later, Fletch. What you got in mind? What One you, other thing. What you scheming up? Multi species, bro. Okay. Just Going wait. into the fridge. Look at that. Two ninety nine. Got some frozen shrimp. That's money, boys. We can catch a bunch of different saltwater fish on that. All right, you're down to your final 34 seconds. Okay, I don't even know how much money I'm at. Okay, hold on. Seven. I got about <laughs> 10 bucks. See, this is the thing. I would love Did to you go. Get hooks? I would love to go. Yeah, I got hooks. We, we good on hooks. I would like to go artificial bait, but it just doesn't make sense on the cane. The most species. 10 flesh. seconds. <laughs> All right, Fletch, this is what we're buying. It's eleven dollars, man. Okay, what do you think? <laughs> what do you even dog grab? food, bro. Dog food. Dog food, fish food. Are you using Same this as thing? bait or? Listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh, leave you. Oh, it's chum. I'm gonna leave you questioning, Fletch. Okay, All right. gonna call all the big fish out today, and uh, who knows? We're probably gonna get some more bites because we're gonna chum the water. Kind of a smart move, right? Well, let's take a look at what you got here. We have shrimp. 
Here you go. Here, yes, sir. We have wine. Yeah, and you're probably questioning that one. I don't know. Gotta leave you guessing. I, was, I don't know what you're doing. Does your cane pole come with wine? Or? It comes with a little bit of wine. Okay, so you have some backup. Hooks. Hooks. Weights. Weights. Sabiki. Sabiki, baby. And some chum. Don't forget about it. But it is time for you to go, Fletch. You have $400. $400. Just a little bit more money than me, but it's your time to shine, baby. Well, hold on to your poverty budget. Hey, Let's go ahead careful. and grab the big boy cart. And we got some money to spend, guys. Now that Noah has his budget picked out and has all his stuff, it is time for me to dive into the $400 budget. And we have a lot of things to pick out in a lot of different directions I can go. So we got three minutes on the clock. Starts now. Okay, so I've been looking around and I'm thinking, first things first is we gotta find a watercraft. We gotta get off the bank. Noah has no budget to do that. So we gotta make use of that advantage. We're gonna need a paddle. This one is 50 bucks. So we're gonna put this on the cart and stick this in here. We're also gonna need a boat. Um, I did not get a chance to see the prices on these $400, that is five, okay. Um, pool float could be an option. Fletcher, what about the kitty kayak? Uh, you know you got the kitty kayak last night? <laughs> there, there aren't any yet. I would've get that, that was 250, the Quest Minnow. All right, we're gonna come back to that. Two minutes. I want something with line already. I've been loving these little Zepco combos. We're gonna go ahead and grab the spinning rod because I know that's a reliable little combo and Keep on moving. I'm thinking we're gonna need some traps. This is one thing I have not <laughs> tried yet, and it's something I've been wanting to do. So we need this trap. This is like a minnow trap, and this looks like a panfish trap. Is there, this one's broken. Hold on, there's one down here. <laughs> How much time do I got? You got a minute. A minute? Okay, we got the trap. A minute 20. A minute okay, 20. we need a craft. I'm buying an air mattress, guys. <laughs> this is 150 bucks. This is all we can afford for some kind of, you know, boat device. We're just gonna have to make an air mattress work. Time is of the essence. I saw something earlier that I wanted to grab. We have a chum drop ball. So this is gonna be our bait for our traps and we're gonna need some lures. How much time? 10 seconds. 10 seconds? I'm, I'm just kidding, 40, 40. Oh, um, let's see, some live bait stuff. So we got our live bait rig and we're ducking and diving, dodging everything around here. We need some lures, beetle spin, rooster tail. How much time have I got? 20 seconds. 20 seconds? Let's see, chum. This, no way that I went over. I mean, the paddle is 50 bucks. That's 150. 50, Fletcher, you got 70. It's over, it's over, My timer go off? <laughs> Your timer did go off. All right, guys. Well, I think we're under 400. Let's just do a quick price check on these things. This thing is $22. This is 70. That's 70 50, bucks. 50 on the paddle. We're like 390. <laughs> 390 Dude. something. Yeah. I think we're within the budget. I am confused on how you had $400 and managed to get two lures. <laughs> like no bass lures, no worms, Dude, no hooks. I, I get you can catch everything on this, but I would have thought you would have got like a chatter dog. No, maybe no, like no, a little no, trap, no. you know what I mean? No, dude, we're catching a bass on the beetle spin or the rooster And tail. you went with the budget rod. And very, the budget very rod. Very interesting strategy, if dude. I say so myself. I guess we'll see what happens. Okay, here we go. How's it going? Good guys, how are you? Doing good, we got it. Too many things. So we got this giant chum bag. Do you do any fishing yourself? No. No? I used to. We're trying to catch as many species as possible today. Yeah. So we got some, some fish traps. I love eating Maryland crabs. Maryland crabs, okay. We got our stuff. You know, is, uh, you know he's letting the dogs out. So we're gonna have to wait on him. We got a whole shopping cart full of goodies. It's time to get these things loaded up. I'm a new man. You're a new man? I dropped some friends off at the pool, you know? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Fishing stuff is so expensive, especially when you buy a lot of things that... Fishing stuff? <laughs> a lot of dang air mattress and a bunch of trash. I think I spent more money on non-fishing items than I did actually Boys. fishing lures. He had a total of like 50 Fifty-one dollars spent on fishing items. Trust the process. <laughs> Trust the process. Yeah, like a forty-dollar rod and two lures, bro. <laughs> Fish up on the bottom. It's all part of the strategy. Oh, are we missing something, dude? You're trying to steal my trap, bro. <laughs> Don't worry guys, I always got short little legs. You can't run very fast. I may not have short legs, but sometimes I do find myself short on cash. Dave would have been so useful when I drained my bank account on expensive fishing gear and a Noah size kayak in my last budget fishing challenge. If I just downloaded Dave, I could have got up to $500 in five minutes or less so that I didn't need to stress about money. Dave is the banking app that's leveling the financial playing field and taking on the big banks in their predatory ways. When you download Dave, you can get up to $500 in five minutes or less, no credit check, no late fees. It's part of Dave's extra cash account, advance the money you need with no interest, and then settle up later. 
With Dave's extra cash, you'll have more money to buy groceries, fill the tank, and buy essential fishing gear like me without having to wait for your next paycheck. So what are you waiting for? Download Dave today at dave.com slash Fletcher. That's dave.com slash Fletcher. You could get up to $500 in five minutes or less when you download Dave. No credit check, no late fees. Download the Dave app now or go to dave.com slash Fletcher. For terms and condition, go to dave.com slash legal. Eligibility criteria and instant transfer fees apply. Banking services provided by Evolve, member FDIC. And we have made it to the ponds, guys. It is time to get started fishing. Noah has his golf cart. I got mine, I got all my stuff, he's got his. And we have three hours to catch as many species as we can. So basically, with our golf carts, there's a ton of different ponds and like little bodies of water around here. And we can basically go wherever we want to. And I think it is time to get started. Go ahead and bust out our phones, put three hours on the clock. All right, three, two, one, go. Okay, we need to go ahead and get rigged up. We're gonna start here because this tends to be a pretty good multi-species spot. We gotta get away from Fletcher because he doesn't need to know our secrets, you know? So we're gonna set up a little camp back here in the woods. I think I wanna go ahead and set this up, try fishing a little bit, but we're also gonna set our traps here. Let's go ahead and get out all of our supplies. We got hooks, we got weights, we got line. And then we also got some shrimp. That's definitely gonna come in handy. And you know what's funny about this, bro? This is bait shrimp, but it actually has nutrition facts on the back. If you guys were curious, just in case like we want a snack later but our line is rigged up we have our little tiny guy right here and i'm gonna try to catch a few species over here anyways guys we're gonna go ahead and cut this little package off our cane pole we got a user manual we got some line we got a bobber and we got a hook so this is pretty much how a cane pole works it's got a little bit of rope on the end that's just glued and burnt down and then it's got this little tiny eye right there that i'm assuming we just tie our line onto. but we also have our traps and things I think we're gonna hold off on these just for now and we're gonna put them in in a second Let's just go ahead and see if we can just get a fish on the board Uh, you know what? I think the longer we have the trap in the water the better So we're gonna just leave this in there the entire time wherever we put it and just see what we get So let's go ahead and get this thing rigged up which that is gonna <laughs> include Doing something with this the the chum drop. So guys, I think I'm I'm going for it, man I, th I think we're starting off with the sabiki to be fair I, I like to act like I know a lot about a sabiki rig, but I've actually never used one before in my life But I've heard a lot of good things about it. This is pretty much what a sabiki rig is It's got like six to seven little tiny like flies with miniature hooks for the concept that I want to say You just tie your line onto this end and this end you put a weight Obviously, we couldn't buy nice weights today We didn't have the budget for it But we did buy this split shot that can come in handy that we can probably just attach to the bottom of the line Let's do one of these. Let's, let's get a little whiff <coughs> <coughs> That is, that is not good. Let's see, how does this work? Gotta read our instructions right here. Open bag, remove liquid and dry mix bags. Got that done. Pour liquid mix into dry mix. Knead bag until completely combined. Let's stand for 10 minutes. Okay, good thing we're getting started with this right now. All right, so we're just gonna tie this line around the end of our rod. I'm gonna use just a standard uni knife. I think what I do, I think these packages make it pretty easy to get them off. I'm gonna go ahead and tie on where it says to obviously tie on my line. I'm the corner on that little barrel swivel another uni knot simple <laughs> this the, dude this sabiki rig is gonna be like 10 foot long i, I kind of have a weird feeling all right oh shoot all right that was smooth that was really smooth okay that was we just wasted like half of that it is what it is what's next on the list here we have need back thoroughly until completely combined so i think it's just taking this thing and doing doing some of this i don't know what the exact definition of needing is but this seems close enough. All right, well, I think we're just gonna let it sit for 10 minutes and try to go catch some fish with our little rig and we'll come back. And once that is ready to go, we're gonna go ahead and get that in the trap and the trap in the water. Oh. Ooh, okay. 
This is like some Japanese handcuff type stuff, bro. Quick little time check. We got two hours, 49 minutes. Took 10 minutes to kind of get set up. We got plenty of time left, plenty of time to get the job done, but there is a lot going on in here. We got, looks like maybe ladyfish, but there's some bass swimming around. Let's see what happens when we toss this in here. Oh, there's a flounder right there. Oh, what? Oh, look at this flounder. He's coming up. Can you see that? Look at that guy swimming around. All right, boys, we're gonna connect our cane pole and voila. Ooh, that's a lot of line, boys. But guess what? We're about to catch a fish. Let's go out here and start fishing, boys. Dude, no, there's a flounder over here. There's a flounder? There's a flounder, bro. You didn't catch him? No, I haven't caught him yet. He's swimming around. Okay, this is gonna be harder than we thought, boys. I wish I would've left my line on or I just grabbed the end of my rod. Look at that bass coming up to it. He's coming up to it. Please eat it, please. He just swam right under my bait. We're definitely gonna try out here. I think. The strategy with the water being as cleared as is, is to probably just leave the trap out here to focus on catching some fish in this area. I think if we kind of leave it alone, let it sit, let it simmer, these fish are gonna relax and they're gonna go into that little trap. We're gonna walk down this way, scout the end of this canal again because there's so many fish. We got the smaller canal on the other side and it actually connects to a natural river and the water's just pouring over. Oh my God, it's all the way over. There is it. This is the natural creek I'm talking about. I want to get back in here, boys. We actually have some good sized minnows. I don't know if they'll eat this, but let's give it a shot. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and see what we're working with here. We got our trap. This is our bigger one for like bigger sized bait fish. And this is more of like a minnow trap. Let's uh, let's get into this nasty bag. Okay, said like make a baseball size clump. There we go. In the bait trap, seal that up, bottom sealed. That's good to go. And then we're also gonna get a good clump ready for the other one. Put that in that trap. Oh my gosh, we're doing the most. Oh man, this looks amazing. Wow, this is crazy, man. I just hope I can catch a fish in this. Preferably without getting my sweetie stuck. And let's go ahead and get this in the water. I'm gonna try to put it in strategically and not you know, try to reset this thing. Cause I feel like if I'm pulling it in and out, this is just gonna fall apart and we don't have any more liquid to make it work. I'm thinking just maybe right here in this little spot. It seemed like a good idea. I just feel like this water is so clear too, dude. That is not good, boys. Oh, I just broke my rod. <laughs> we can't risk it. Oh, that sucks. I mean, how stuck can it be? I hope I don't break everything I have before I can even do anything. Be careful here. That was smooth. Okay, we got a rope. We got our bait trap. All right, here goes nothing. There it goes. Time to see what happens, I guess. Try to just position it, land it right on a rock. Let's put it right there and just give it some time and hopefully some fish come check that out. Yep. Well, that's it for us. I don't know how much further we'll get, but we'll see. Guys, our rod is done. That is all she wrote that really sucks man that quick and we are out of this thing but we might have a way to get back in it i'm gonna go ahead and rig this up now and we're gonna find a place to put it but i think it's time to get out of this location because it doesn't seem like we're gonna have much luck with the lure and i want to find an alternative location to put this and i want to be able to use the boat above all things our air badger's boat to get out on the pond get out to where noah can't get to and hopefully that makes a difference for us today but there's our little trap. Let's get all this stuff in the back of the cart and get on the move. Off we go. All right, boys. So this eyelid is completely gone. So I guess we'll see how well this will work, but I'm actually going to just tie the line right onto the rod. And uh, I don't want to tie it up here because I think it would just slide off possibly. So I want to tie it behind that little like knot in the rod. Okay, here we are, guys. On to our next little trap spot. Let me grab this, our last string, and we're going to tie this right off over here. This is the other side of the brackish pond, and this tends to be a pretty good place where I see a lot of bait fish and things swimming around that might want to come up in this thing for a little nibble. Okay, so now we got our cane pole, little hook, two split shots. Now it is time to get our shrimp, our low calorie shrimp, more importantly. I'm very confused, guys. Let me know uh, what you guys think about that random nutrition label on the back. Uh, uh. Very interesting to have that on a bait package. If I was coming out with some shrimp, probably wouldn't put the nutrition if it was bait. We're gonna get this away from our stuff. 
Let's check out this smelly goodness. It is all soggy and nasty. I ain't gonna lie, man. Let's see what we're working with here. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that little tiny minner, man. Okay. Does that count as a species? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm actually trying to decide what side of this bridge I want to put it on because these aren't actually connected. Uh, it looks like they are, but there's like a solid cement wall between this and that. I might just risk it for the biscuit and put it in that side. Ooh, thoughts. Put it in front of that feeder. I don't know if it's running. Some of the feeders around here, they're inactive. They don't even do anything. That could be a good option. But I've had such good luck right here with the casting. I'm thinking we're gonna do this spot. In front of the feeder feels like cheating, but I'm thinking we just let this thing sink right down here. Tie it off to this post. We're gonna look in golden. So the way we're gonna rig this up, we're gonna go right through the shrimp, go through the skin, rotate. Money, okay? Now just, <laughs> okay. Get off me. Now it is time to go do some fishing, boys. Let's see what we can do here. It's gonna be a little difficult, but we're, we're gonna pull it off. Guys, just give me a moment. I'll catch you guys at the other side. Okay, how much time we got left? We got two hours and 26 minutes. That's most of our time. It is time to put this air mattress raft to use. Let's find out if she sinks or floats. Let's go ahead and get to it. I'm gonna cast it, okay? Please do not come off. I will cry if my rod just comes off. Oh my goodness, that was perfection. And there's a big ladyfish going up to it. Oh, there's the, oh my God, the huge ladyfish. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay, I gotta go get this shrimp, dude. There's a huge school of ladyfish and they're freaking massive and he just ate me. Now back to the spot. I just don't want them to see my shadow. Maybe I should have got a bigger hook. I, it's gonna happen. Get off me. Did my shrimp fall off? Man, oh man. I cannot believe we are about to go fishing on a air mattress. I don't think I've ever done that before. I was really hoping we were gonna get a kayak, a canoe, maybe a pool float of some kind, but we ended up with the air mattress and you know, that's just the cards we were dealt, unfortunately. My shrimp didn't fall off, did it? I don't, I don't see it, I don't know. Oh, it did, it did. Oh, at least, at least my meat's on the ground. <laughs> at least it ain't in the water. This is such a hor horrible, way of casting dude someone drives by and sees me out on this thing i hope they don't look too closely because they're going to be wondering what the heck i am doing i might get comfy out there though i'm not gonna lie let's see what we're doing here i got my instructions all right unfold simple enough product must be stored in a dry location they weren't gonna be bringing that roll today all right these instructions aren't very clear they're just a bunch of pictures not a lot of words i think we just gotta find the plug and plug it in i brought this guy along which is like a portable battery so we could actually charge this thing up or not charge it up pump it up those are the words i'm looking for i haven't used this thing in a minute guys that doesn't sound great it's not pulling enough amps oh there we go we're just on the wrong setting what the heck Dude, I cannot believe that ladyfish just swamped it. And boys, I don't know what to consider a big ladyfish, but they were probably that big. I would think that's giant for a ladyfish. We're getting closer. It says a thousand amps on here. Is it just like overheating? We're getting a caution emblem. Hopefully my fish traps are doing something right now. <laughs> How much time we got on the clock? Two hours and 13 minutes. Okay, shyster. Okay, um, <laughs> we're gonna have to go all the way back to the house, plug this into the house, strap it down to the golf cart, bring it back out to the pond. Can't say this how I drew it up, boys. <laughs> we're gonna have to make it work though. Oh gosh. Well, we're not really going at a good pace, so but I still have hope, man. We're fighting through this. I'm gonna try another shrimp, guys, and then after that, we're probably gonna switch up methods. We might even go to another spot and just try to mess around. I'm so down with this spot. I really like it, and I wanna catch one of those ladyfish. It's just we might have to give it time. We are on a race against the clock, guys. We have like two-ish hours left. Oh, here, here comes somebody. Good. Thank you, sir. Not helping me, not helping the cause. Like I said, we are on a race against the clock and we need to make sure we get some fish on the board. As of right now, I'm at zero. Unless my fish traps are just doing something crazy right now. I have nothing to show for my efforts. 
efforts today or my $400 budget. Now, I don't know what Noah has going on, but I'm hoping he is struggling just as hard as I am right now. Wait, 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 they're going over to it. Time is of the essence. Time is of the essence. Let's get all this stuff out there. We don't need that anymore. That was a failed attempt at blowing this up. Let's find an outlet and get this thing pumped up ASAP. I hope my fish traps are doing work. <laughs> Fingers crossed. There we go. Got that out. Let me plug this thing into an outlet. Come on. There we go. We got life. Hopefully this does not take too long to blow up. All right, boys, we all packed up. Time to head to the new spot. We got some fish this time, son. Let's see how much time we got left on the clock. We have one hour and 42 minutes left. Okay, so game plan. Get this thing pumped up. This looks like it's gonna take like five seconds. Maybe we should have just done this from the get go instead of driving 15, 20 minutes out to that pond. I still think this is gonna work out. I think we're gonna be able to get out on the water, take our air mattress draft, our paddle, our gear, catch some fish. And as long as the fish traps do what they're supposed to do, we should be in good hands. Meanwhile, Noah's just like fiddling around with his little fairy wand that he bought. I don't know why he chose that. All right, boys and girls. It is time for us to get the fishing. There's a fish feeder over there. I want to set out a couple more rigs over by that fish feeder because there has to be some fish in the same location. So go ahead and grab our stuff and get over there in that corner. We're looking like we're almost full. I mean, it's definitely supporting me at this point. We probably wanted a little bit more inflated, but we do need to find something to strap this down. Let me see if we got any more ropes. Oh, we have this. Uh, that might work. I mean, that's a pretty fat air mattress. I don't think that's gonna be enough rope. Um, something, oh, okay. We got a hose. This is enough cord. We don't really have time to look for other options. We're just gonna use this hose. As long as it gets the job done, right? Oh yeah, we're cooking. All right, boys, it is time to get some fish on the freaking board. Look at that right there. That is money. This is barely even wide anymore from it just being in the dirt, but it already has the beetle spin little back piece. Let's get this unplugged. Boom. All right, I think we're good. Let's get this thing on here, throw it on the boat. We have to get the boat too, by the way, guys. So Hunter has something to film off of. There's that, our hose. This is just getting more absurd by the second. All right, boys, it is time to set up a few rigs. One thing I actually want to do, I know that we're by a fish feeder, but we haven't got to use the old fish chum yet. So we're going to go ahead and crack this open, spread some out right here. I don't know when the fish feeder is going to turn on, so we're just going to make our own fish feeder. And uh, after that, we're going to set up some more rigs, tie them up. I think this is a money spot. One thing I noticed when I pulled up, I don't know if you guys hear that and see that, but there's a little bit of current. There's some water coming down right here. So I think this is just a prime spot. After that, we're going to rig our pull back up. We're going to go on the other side of that dock, possibly tie on the beetle spin and see if we can catch one on a lure. So uh, let's get started. Oh my gosh, hold on. Do I throw out the whole bag? All right, should work. <laughs> if it falls off, we'll deal with it when we get to there. But let's throw the rest of this hose in the back of this boat. And I think we're good to go. Oh yeah, that ain't going anywhere. Every dad knows if you tug on the rope after you strap something down and say that ain't going anywhere, it's not going anywhere. Look at this thing. We got a hose tied down on our air mattress. <laughs> and it ain't going nowhere. Off-roading, regular roads, it doesn't matter. It ain't going nowhere. Hope the opening to get into this pond is still back here. That'd be nice. Something to go my way today. We're gonna get our fishing line and I'm gonna tie it around this and I'm just gonna have it slightly elevated off the bottom right here. Think that's good there. I think that'll hold that up. Yeah, that'd be good. It's just gonna be slightly elevated. Oh yeah, boys. Cut our tag in here. Boom, now all we have to do, set that there. Okay, is it gonna go underwater? Let's see, I don't know if it is or it isn't. We're gonna tie our own homemade feeder onto a feeder, how ironic. There we go, feeder on a feeder, boys. Hopefully in about 20 minutes, we'll have fish over here. That's what I'm hoping. So the boat ramp that I wanted to launch at is non-existent anymore. Looks like it overgrew since last time I used it. So we're uh, going to plan B at a different spot. And um, we're just, you know, hoping for the best at this point. Now, 
it is time to rig up about two more handline rigs. So we're gonna get our hook tied on, put one to two split shots, and we're gonna drop it down around our little chum fish attractant. Maybe this will work, maybe it won't. But let's just pray it works, boys, and catches us a few fish. Gotta be careful, guys. <laughs> okay, good news is it floats as expected let's spin this around we're gonna see how good this thing works as a actual watercraft get us an old yummy smelly shrimp here <laughs> you <good? laughs> don't mind me yeah this is some extra sh stanky shrimp it is, it is not the most pleasant smell by any means and we're just gonna put the whole dang thing on this one all right we're gonna drop her down Right there where all this water's coming out, right next to our fish attractant, let out a little more line. Oh yeah, you got a little bit of current here. Oh, dude, this is money. Moment of truth, guys. Let's see how she does. Oh yeah, we're cooking. We are cooking. No boat, no problem. Air mattress is where it's at. 150 bucks and you could be just like me. We're just gonna get up around the corner, see if we can't get some bites. Dude, your hand line, your hand line, your hand line, bro. Your hand line, it's running. Oh, oh, I got a fish. No way, dude. I got a bluegill. I got a bluegill. I got a bluegill. Come on. Stay pin, baby. Stay pin, baby. We just put it down. No freaking way. And he choked that bait. Oh, my goodness, man. I did not believe that. How did he even eat that shrimp? Dude, he choked that bait, man. But uh, let's get her back in the water. Let her swim another day. Thank you, baby. The hydrodynamics of this boat are uh, not the best. There isn't like any shape to it. So paddling it, it just wants to like swing to the left and right. Okay, let's stop right here, guys. We're gonna go and try to cast on this point right here. I think this is a good place to start. We still have our little rooster tail tied on and I think that'll be a good place to get started. The goal is to get a bass first and then try to get a bluegill or uh, some kind of panfish, and we're gonna chop that guy up and we're gonna put him on another hook and try to catch a catfish with that. It's been tough. We have a cane pole. We only had $40, but guys, listen, we put in the work and that's what matters. We're gonna drop it right down. <sighs> Dude, I am so mind blown right now. I wonder if I could stand up on this thing or if that's just a purely terrible idea. We got them shaky legs. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna opt out of that idea. We're gonna go with the, the knee position. I think that's the most efficient method. Oh, oh, dude, they're, they're insane. These fish are insane. We might need to, we actually might need to. Dude, there's no way. They're huge. Oh my gosh. Look how big that bluegill is. <laughs> We're catching these things on full-size shrimp. I can't even believe this right now. First of all, what makes a bluegill want to eat a shrimp? And second of all, how uh, how are they even getting the hook? I, I really don't, it, it doesn't make sense, man. It really doesn't. I'm just at a loss of words. That doesn't count as a second species. I do think that was a different like type of bluegill, but still, man, that was a lot of fun. We've given this rooster tail enough of our time and effort. We're gonna cut that off and we're gonna go to the beetle spin. Maybe this is where the magic happens. All tied up. All right, just to get to a new spot now. Let's keep on paddling. Oh. I'm talking, he bit it right away, man. There, there's no wait time. Like this thing's dropping in and I'm getting ready. Let's just hope we catch something else. Like there's gotta be, there's gotta be something else. Brackish water too. Okay, guys, we've almost made it to where I wanted to get in this pond. It's about time to start fishing with this little beetle spin and see if we can finally get a fish on the board. This has been a struggle. Your line just start, it started moving into the current, dude. Did it really? You, oh, I think you have, you have one, you have one, you have one, dude. Oh, that was something big. That was something big. That was not a bluegill. Dude, we... We are cooking, boys. You know what I love about this? It's honestly so much easier than the cane pole, which we're about to fish with the cane pole. But it's like, this is so much easier, like convenient. Look, I hook it on. Look at this, like I just toss it in. Like, it's so simple, man, I love it. Just doing a little bed fishing, that's all, guys. Except I'm on the bed and the fish are off of them. <laughs> yes, we got a fish! No! 
<laughs> no. no. Oh, that felt like probably like a bluegill or something. It wasn't very big, but it was a species nevertheless. Dag nabbit. Let's uh, check out the damage here. Looks like he pulled down my meat. Fix that. Get her back in. Let's put her right back in there. Maybe there's another one. Dude, 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 dude. That's a bigger fish. Actually, it might be a big bluegill. <gasps> it's an eel! It's an eel! It's an eel! Get up here, bro! Oh, yes! Oh, what is that? Dude, oh. you guys, I, I don't know what to do with this thing. Look at it, bro. Look at it. Whoa! I've actually only caught a freshwater eel once in my life. He actually choked it, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get him anyways. But what in the world? <laughs> That might have been what I had that was big earlier. I might just need to cut him. But dude, we caught a freaking eel. Dude, okay. What if you put that in Fletcher's trap? Put it in his trap. Could you do it? I'm not sure if it'd fit though. I don't know if it'd fit. Ah, man. <laughs> He's gonna be so mad, bro. He'd have to get out. Wait, but you have to open the trap. Yeah, there's a door. Dude, if we put the eel in the trap, Fletcher would be. Hold on, dude. You gotta guard the fish for me. Okay, I'm I got you. I got putting you. this in his trap. I'm just hoping and praying, guys, that my trap is having a better success rate than I currently am because right now I think we're 0 for 2 or 0 for 3 with our bites, and we just need something to happen for us. All right, boys. So we noticed that Fletcher had a trap over here on the dock, and I don't know if he has fish or not, but the big thing is what if we put this eel in his trap and he actually thought he caught it, and then we just started messing with him? Oh, he has nothing. He's got absolutely nothing. Dude, the eel definitely could have fit through that hole. We don't have to do that, though. We can actually unlatch this, I'm pretty sure. Hold on. That's untied his whole trap. <laughs> All right, cameraman All right. Tyler. Right. We're, 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 gonna, we're gonna put the eel in, in the trap here. Nice fit. What I do to be out on that first pond, we'd be smoking them right now. Smoking them like a pack of cools. Oh, I'm surprised Noah hasn't called me yet, bragging about all the fish he's not catching. I feel kind of bad, dude, honestly. What, for the eel? For the eel, yeah. But to be honest, if it was any other fish, I'd probably feel like worse doing it, but it is an eel, and I don't even know if those are supposed to be in here. I gotta remember how Fletcher tied this thing, too. I think he just had it dropped. <laughs> dude, if the eel slithers out and Fletcher pulls it up and there's nothing in there, I'm gonna be so disappointed. Oh, I know. We're gonna dude. be like, pull up your trap, Fletcher. What's inside of it? It's gonna be the <laughs> one thing that can slither out of there. I doubt it, dude. There's no way that thing's getting out. Yeah, the wind's got a hold of us. It's got a hold of my boat, but not my pride. This is OSHA approved, I promise. This is honestly really not a bad flotation option. Like, if you really were on a crunch and needed to use an air mattress as a raft or something, you can make it work. I don't know, you know, I, that's, that uh, is the same for all air mattresses, but, oh, oh, right there. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Fish number one. Smoked it. Come on, come on. It's a large jaw, guys. It's a large jaw. Yeah. <laughs> on the beetle spoon. That's what I'm talking about. Bed fishing at its finest. Yes, finally on the board. Species numero uno. Got her off. Oh, don't fall off myself, Fletcher. Come on, honey. Here she goes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, let's keep at it, guys. So, boys, remember when I won darts this morning? I already knew what I was doing, you know? Just had to get the $40 budget to take the dove. I don't need no $400 to be catching these fish, boys. When we broke our cane pole, we still adapted. We went to hand lining. Listen, we're doing everything in the book right now to secure the dub. This is a good little area, guys. The wind is blowing into this bank and should have the fish stacked up. Yes! Back to back cast! What do we got? Oh, another large jaw. Woo! <laughs> Wrong species. We need a new one, but we'll take the bites. We'll take the bites in the action. Makes me feel like I'm doing something right. Oh, back to back fish. Just to get into the right spot. I don't see any bank axes here, do you? All in the mattress. There we go. Thank you for the bite, little lady. Woo! Wait. I got him. I got him. Okay, I got him. <laughs> Big girl. This is the biggest bluegill I've ever seen, man. Ah, come here. Ah. 
Mm, look at that slab, boys. Oh my goodness. These bluegill, they are freaks, man. We finally got a fish on the cane pole. Another, just a massive bluegill. This one's bigger than the other ones. Let's get her back in the water. Thank you, baby. That thing's a slab, man. <laughs> Give her a cast. Is there another one up here? Oh my God, I just got smoked again. Oh, I just got smoked again. Come on, come on. Oh, let's go, let's go, bluegill. <laughs> Species number two. Just what the doctor ordered, baby. Oh yeah, that's a fine looking bluegill if I do say so myself. Never looked better. Suck on dim apples, Noah. That's a big blue. Uh. That's something big. That's something big. That is something huge. What is that? Oh my gosh, look at how big it is. These bluegill are the biggest bluegill. I mean, I actually felt like a huge fish. <laughs> look at these things. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Unbelievable. They're so beautiful. Thank you, baby. <laughs> the bites on it's just insane. I wish you guys could feel it. All right. Two species down. Let's see if we can get any more panfish. Oh, dude, I should have kept that. I need to actually cut up a, like a small bluegill or something so I can lie bait for a catfish. But uh, we'll keep that in mind if we get another one. But we can definitely get a few more panfish species. All right, boys, we got an idea. We found that beetle spin a second ago. We need to tie the beetle spin on the rod. We've done a lot of hand lining. We've caught a lot of fish. It's been so much fun and I could continue to do it. But I think our best chance of catching a different fish will probably be on that beetle spin. I don't know, guys. I've been working down this bank and we're not getting any more bites. I don't know how much more time we should spend out here. So we definitely need to check our traps. If we totally screw up and don't have enough time to check our traps, we are toasted. Okay, guys. I think that's all she wrote for this. This was a this was a fun mission. I wish I had about three times the amount of time that I had on this raft. It was fun while it lasted. Let's go check the traps. All right, boys, we're gonna walk to this corner. When we pulled up initially, I had to go back and grab some out of the truck and I actually saw a few bass swimming on this corner. So we're gonna try it. If we can get a bass right now, I think we kind of lock this up, man. That means we have three species, possibly even four with how we caught two different bluegill. But uh, let's throw it in the water right here and see if the bass are still in this area. I thought he was sitting there. Hold on. Oh my God, they're right there. They're gonna eat it. They're gonna eat it. Oh, that was a long haul, but we made it back with time to spare. We have just enough time to go check our traps and hopefully pull out the dub in the final minutes. Let's get this thing out of the water. Let's go check the traps. <laughs> it's like suction cupped. Oh, there we go. Dude, they like swam away. I think it's something with this cane rod. Oh my God, he's right there. <gasps> yes, yes, dude, look at that. I gotta touch him, I gotta touch him. I got him, I got him, baby. I got him, he ain't big, but that is a freaking bass. And that is our third species, man. That was a sick bite. Okay, moment of truth, guys. Let's check the trap. <laughs> Fingers crossed, the first trap Please have something. I know there's fish around this area. Uh, I can't tell, it's a little dark now, a little stingy. Definitely still bait in there and we got nothing. That is wonderful, guys. A whole lot of nothing. Um, That sucks, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I really hope Noah hasn't had a lot of luck with the sabiki rig and his little cane pole and all that stuff. Come on, Let's see a bite, man. Oh, dude, that is the goal, guys. Look, what we're doing, you got this current coming out. We throw the beetle spin right up in the current, pop it out so we don't hit the piling, let it sink. We're gonna wait two seconds here and watch, he's gonna be on. Oh, boy, <laughs> look at dude, look who's coming up. Look at the air managers on the back of that thing, dude, that's insane. Ahoy there! Ahoy, matey! How's the fishing? It was all right. We got a, <laughs> a situation going on over here. I cannot believe he strapped that air mattress on the back of his golf cart. Tight quarters here, the air mattress and boat on the back. Tight little dock. Dude, I cannot wait to see his reaction. He's gonna actually think he caught that eel. We got a minute and 47 seconds left. That's enough to check our trap. What you got, Noah? What's up, man? How many species you got? Three or four. Three or four? Three or four. I I'm still iffy on the fourth. I asked the fans, man. I was like, I just don't know if this bluegill, like one of them had stripes, you know, I, I don't know. But definitely three. 100% three. We're gonna untie this and see what we got. My last trap was filled with uh, bountiful treasures. Really? You know? Oh yeah, dude, we are loaded over there. How many did you get out of the trap? 
Wait, so how, how many fish do you at got, At least bro? 10 species, dude. At least I'm 10? I'm telling you, at least 10. Let's I, see what I we got. I believe that. <laughs> dude, look at that! Dude, there's an eel in here! Bro, what in the world? Dude, that's crazy, Pleasure. <laughs> that thing is wild! That is insane. That's probably the biggest creature that could fit into that tiny <laughs> hole, you know? Dude, I, I don't want nothing to do with the eel. Get you, dude. That's crazy, man. So how, how many species you got, bro? Um, well, with the eel, I'm not gonna lie, I only makes three. <laughs> you only got three? I only got three. Well, I hate to break it to you, but I was the one who caught the eel, you know? You wait, you could you <laughs> put it in here. So how many species do you have? I got three. So you only have two. Because if three was good. No. Yeah. Good game, Flash. Congrats. Game.